be to God. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be here. We're happy to be here. Speak to us. Lead us for the rest of this precious time we have together. We'd like to be seated now in the presence of God. Go oh, yes. <laughs> Amen. I'm telling you right now. It is good to be here. Eh? Amen. And those that are watching, you know, you're with us in the spirit. And we were preparing for you. We were talking about that, how we were going up for those who, who couldn't go up. Uh, and you, you all might have been going up in your own time with the Lord. But, but we were going up for you and going up for others that haven't quite understood or, or have other things going on. But we're going up, amen, and, and God's working. And he's coming down too. It goes both ways. He said, he said that truly, truly, you will see the heavens open and the angels going up and coming down. So we got something. We're going up into the heavenly places, but also heaven is coming down to the earth. And that's where we're going to be going even today with what we're talking about, with what the Lord has been releasing. And I'm telling you, don't believe the lie. Don't believe the fake news that tells you, oh, it's getting so bad. Oh, oh, and then, and then everybody will be fussing and whining, filling yourself with that. Oh, you say, Pastor, are you saying there isn't no darkness? Out? Oh, yeah, but there's been darkness ever since that man took the apple that his wife had eaten. He took it and ate, or whatever fruit it was. Then sin entered into this world, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. And there's been darkness in here ever since. And yes, there's darkness, but there's a light too. Amen? And which is stronger, by the way, the darkness or the light? I saw that old that that old devil and those that are working with him were trying to say, oh, the darkness is better because you can put out the light. You can't put out the darkness. Devil, you're a liar. I start shining my light and you start running. Amen. So don't tell me you're strong. Amen. The light is stronger. Amen. And we got light. Amen. Our light has come. Amen. Has your light come? It's here. Amen. And we're going to shine and we're going to rise in Jesus' name. That's what we're doing here. And we're so happy we get to do it with you. Amen. So we're going to keep on hitting this and, and hitting the word, hitting what God has sent as we've been declaring all this year. This is not just another year. This is not a year where, well, well oh, he got us this year. Oh, he just going to have it, and he's just going to make it worse and worse. I don't know about the rest of them, but that old devil ain't getting in here. Amen? He ain't getting in here. Let me say something else. He ain't getting in this church. Amen. He ain't going to have his way here. No, we're doing something else in this place. And what are we doing? We're getting alive. We're getting things in order. We're getting things prepared. He said, I'm doing something. Oh, boy, I'm doing something right now. This is a great time to be alive. Amen. All oh, them ones up in heaven, they I know they're having a great time. I know they, they don't really want to come back because it's so good up there. And, you know, we cry for the ones that go up there, but are they crying up there? Ooh, 
They got their mansion. They got their blessing. They get to see Jesus face to face. They get to be with the Father, get to be with all the other ones that are saved and that love God and all kinds of fun things they do, all kinds of worship and beautiful things. What an amazing place. I think occasionally they say, but look what they up to down there. Look what they get to do down there. Oh, boy. They get to see some amazing things, some wonders. That's where we're going. Beloved, that is where we're going. And God is doing it. He's taking us as we are declaring. He's taking people that say, God, whatever you said, you ain't the only one saying it no more. What? It ain't just God's word. This ain't just God's word. Guess what? It's mine too. Does that make sense? If this is a word that comes from God, that's in God's heart and it's in God's mind. Well, guess what? I'm putting it in my mind. I'm putting it in my heart. Amen. That's what God's doing. And I'm saying, Lord, I want it. I want this word. I want everything you said to be in there. And Lord, I'm going to follow you. I'm going I'm to go where you go. I'm going to do what you do. And Lord, if that means everything, everything that was going on before, if I'm, if I'm changing it, adjusting it, so be it. Amen. That's what's happening. Can you pray that God continues to do that all throughout the earth, through the body of Christ, but yes, specifically even through our ministry, that our people are going to agree with this. It ain't just going to be God's word. It's going to be mine. It's going to be theirs. Amen? And it ain't just going to be his will. But his will, he's going to work it in me. He's going to work it in me. He's going to change me. And then, <laughs> get ready. We're going somewhere. Amen? We're going somewhere. I'm telling you, we are somewhere. <laughs> I can't see it. Got the... I got the, what do you call those folks? The party poopers or the, or the pity parties or whatever you want to call those people that just are real good at running them out. Well, keep running it. I'm running with God. Amen. And I'm going with him. You be running your mouth and I'm, and I'll be running with him. And I'm going somewhere good in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So that's what we're declaring. And, and we're declaring what God said. You know, he said, I'm going to show wonders in the heavens and signs on the earth. Blood, fire, and the vapor of smoke. He said, get ready. I'm about to show you some things. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. You might need to tell somebody over there with you. If you're watching, you might need to tell somebody around you. Say, you ain't seen nothing yet. If there ain't nobody there, type it on to your social media thing and type in those words, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen it. He said, I will do it. We will show some wonders. Be showing you some things, and you can see me work. Yeah, I said, watch me work, says the Lord. He said, watch me, watch me. They say I can't do it. They say it ain't going to happen. Watch me. I'm going to prove them all wrong. That's why Paul said, oh, I love it. He said, let God be true, and the rest of them will be lies. 
The rest of them said, no, 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 he ain't going to, oh, it ain't going to happen. Oh, they, God don't do that no more. We, yeah, we could see him up there in heaven one day, but he ain't doing nothing down here. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, tell him he ain't doing nothing. Say he's working. Jesus said, my father is always working, but working too. Amen. Is he working? Is he working? Is he working? He's working. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. And I tell you, really what, what I'm seeing, and we mentioned this on Sunday, he's going to be working in your life. And he's going to be working in his church. We're going to get to that on one of the next broadcasts. And he's going to be working in this world. I'm telling you right now, some great things are coming. Even in this year, I had one lady come up to me yesterday. Now, she don't even really believe in the Lord, but but uh, not as we do anyway. And she said, but, you know, you told me that, that things was going to change, but I ain't seeing no change except for maybe getting worse. And, and you told me it was going to be this year. I said, excuse me, what month is this? July. Is the year over? Is this year over? So watch him work. Watch him work even before the end of this year. That's what I told him. I said, this year ain't over. So don't be telling me, oh, it ain't happening. You know how they... That, that devil loves to try to do that, don't it? He loves to try to get people all discouraged. But I'm telling you, he's working. I'm telling you. He said, I will do wonders. He said, I'm going to do some things. Does that mean he's going to do it? He said it. He ain't no liar, is he? He said, he am not a liar like those men and, and even some women, sorry to say, there's some liars. And, and the little ones, you know the little ones, and, uh, you know, one day, they, one moment, they want to do this and they want to do that. I'm thinking of my, of our, our nephew here, so he's one of the students over there. And one moment he said, let's watch this. And then he gets bored in about two or three minutes and want to do something else. Oh, oh, let's play this. So let's eat this. Let's do this. And, you know, children don't change their minds a lot, don't they? Don't they? They, they, they? Their attention span is gone or whatever, and then they go to something else and they go... But God said, that ain't me. I ain't changing my mind if I said it. And he said, I'm going to do those wonders. So guess what? Watch them. They're coming. They're coming. Those wonders are coming. Get ready for what's going to happen. Get ready. He's taking us. And, and I wanted to remind you of... We're going to launch off from that place and get into something a little bit deeper. And so we talked about the other day about transformation. Now, this man right here, he could not see. And we said it's very possible he didn't even have no eyeballs. Imagine that, because all his life he never saw nothing. He couldn't see a thing. But we know what happened. It said Jesus passed by that man. And then they said, is this man a sinner? Or did his parents sin? What's going on, Jesus? And Jesus said, no, 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 no. Don't be thinking it's because this man sinned or because his parents. That's not the what's happening. He said, the works of God are coming. Watch me work, he said. Watch me work. I'm about to work some wonders, and they're going to be displayed for everybody to see. Watch me. Watch me. That's what I feel God saying is watch me. Are you going to watch? Are you going to watch? Don't be like some that said their eyes is closed. No, I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. Or, or maybe some of them's eyes is closed because they're scared or whatever, or they're feeling de depressed or something. And others, it ain't that their eyes are closed, but they're watching something else. They're over here. They're over here. Well, what's, what's over here? Listen, look at this. And here he is walking, and they don't see nothing. 
We're going to see it. We're going to watch. Amen. He said, I'm going to display it. I'm going to show it in here. Some work to do. Look, that's what it said. He said, God is working. Amen. Is God working? Amen. He's working. And, and he said, we got to work now. He said, because there's still light and it's, not, and it's time to work. And, and so, but, but when you get to the night, you can't do the work. And he said, as long as I'm in the world, I, I am the light. And having said these things, boom, boom, he spit on the ground, made the mud, anointed the man's eyes with the mud. And he said, go wash that in the pool. And he made it over there and he washed it. And when he got done, guess what he could do? He could see. He could see. This was a transformation. And I'm telling you, God still does that. And then we're believing for miracles. We're believing for those kind of things. I'm believing for people to get healed. You know, this was more of a miracle because more than likely, uh, he didn't have no eyes. He was born without. People are born without just whatever birth defects or whatever, you know. But God created eyes, put them in there, and boom. Connected all, all the biologic stuff, all the doctor stuff, connected all the nerves and all and everything and, and made it exactly so it could he did it. And when he came back, he could see. Amen. This is a transformation. This is what the Lord is saying. He's saying. Watch me work. Watch me work. Don't get, don't get distracted. Don't close your eyes. Don't, don't listen to all that chit-chat, all that stuff. Reminds me of, of um, one of the kids' movies. And I think this is the first movie I, took, I ever took my oldest to see in the theater. And it was funny because the enemy, and this was the Kung Fu, and the Kung Fu pandas, and, and uh, I don't know if you ever seen that one, but but this old enemy showed up. He's a big old scary looking thing, and he was swinging his his like uh, they were like blades, and he had chains, and he was swinging them, and and he was and he was uh, taking all of the toughest. Uh, warriors down, and they couldn't handle him. He he was stealing all their power, and he was causing trouble. And then he he started to 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 say all kinds of stuff. And, and then and then he, if I'm remembering, this is the right one. He said, and and then the the hero said, when he was running his mouth, he said, chit chat, chit chat, chitty chitty chit chat, chit chit. And he said, he said, I ain't listen to that mouth of yours running. Listen, and they said, what are you doing? You better listen to me. I'm listen to you. And we ain't listening to that mess, are we? Listening to all that junk that they saying. There's one that I'm listening to. There's one that I'm trusting in. And that's the one who wrote this book. And I'm and I'm trusting in what he said in this book. I'm I'm believing on it. I'm standing on it. It's coming. It's coming. Things are gonna, we're gonna see transformation. Stay in the way that it is. Stay in the way. People are gonna say, oh, but it's rough right now. It ain't gonna stay that way, is it? Gonna stay. Did that man stay that way where he couldn't see? They changed, didn't they? Well, we got change coming. We got some powerful change coming. And today, I wanted us to look at what? I wanted us to look at transformation. It's coming to us. I love you. Wait, I, I love you. You mind? I'm happy you're here. He said, but let me tell you something. I want to transform. I want to take you to a place where you are not there. I got some place we got to go. And with that in mind, I'd like us to read 
beautiful passage. I remember one time, uh, I believe it was the time when I took this precious lady and I said, uh, we were already married. It's been a few months after the wedding. And I said, I want to take her, bring her here to meet some family and friends and stuff. And, and, uh, and so I remember we was on the way and they said, sir, why did you come over to Brazil? I said, I'm doing God's work and I'm preaching. And, and then they said, well, basically they was trying to say, was I a fake preacher? And they said, well, if that's true, tell me about the Bible. What's your favorite book? And I, and I said, well, can't get much better than Romans chapter number eight. I said, well, why do I love that chapter? Because it starts off by saying, I ain't therefore now no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. He said, he done covered you. He done, he done blessed you. He done forgiven you. He done got you. He got you. And then he goes in. And then at the end of it, he said, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And he also said, he's working all things together for the good. And, and then he also said, ain't nothing going to separate you from the love of God. And he lists all the things in this life that would try to separate you. He said, none of it going to get you. I, and I told him, I said, there's a lot more in there. But I said, that, that one right there. Oh, boy, I love that one. And they said, all right, you must be a real preacher. So that, that's your wife? I said, yes, sir, you really, that's your wife? You love her? Yes, ma'am. And they said, well, we're going to give her that document, and she can come visit your family. They said, but, but whenever y'all is ready to move back, just make sure you come back and get your document again. I said, well, we'll, we'll do that later. Right now, we're just going for Christmas. and We'll be back. But anyway, God did that. He did that. But, it, but when I was telling them, I, I took them to this chapter right here. I love this chapter. Well, let's read it in this chapter right now. Verse 18 of chapter 8 until 23. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time not worth comparing to the glory that's going to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing or the manifesting of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom, excuse me, of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth. We had one of our own going through those pains a few days ago. And now we got the little baby. She'll be coming to church soon. And not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit grown inwardly as we eagerly await for adoption as sons, redemption of our bodies. There's a personal transformation. And this is what I wanted us to, to look into here. And there's a lot we can say, but as I said, there's been darkness in the world. Ever since, that woman named Eve took the fruit, gave it to the husband. And then, because what did that do? That brought sin into the world, but not just into the world, but into the heart, into the life of people. That's why we got all this darkness. That's why we got all this hate and killing and cheating and stealing and lying and, and selfishness and all this stuff. Because that happens. But is that the end of the story? 
is just always going to be messed up? No. He said, there's, there's change coming. There's transformation coming. I want you to know, they mentioned something in that passage about the time. And oh, that's going to be great when these bodies get transformed. You know, it says it's actually our body, but our body will be transformed, even if it's dust, even if it, wherever it could be scattered throughout, wherever it might be, God will bring that body back together and it will transform it. And it will be like the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, a resurrected body that will never see corruption, that will live forever. That's coming. And talk about, we're all going to look good, too. We're all going to look good. We're all going to be young. We're all going to be strong. We're all going to be. And that's what's going to happen. And there's a part of us that said, you know, something don't sit right. You know, I feel that sometimes when we have to say goodbye to somebody. And, and they pass. There's something about it that you said. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. One day it won't. Amen? I'm telling you, that's some good news right now. I, I tell you, that's, that's some of the best news that I could ever tell you. One day, I mean, one day, Ain't nobody going to get tired or old or nothing. They're going to be strong. We're going to be blessed. And the body, people ain't going to die in accidents and everything. You know, I'll tell you what was it. What was even, uh, if anyone is gone, it's precious. And it's sad for us. But I happened to meet with two families on this last mission trip where the person who passed was was in his early 20s and when you think of that and they i think each one left two little babies behind and when you think about that something inside you breaks don't it that's tough but god but god but god God, he's still going to work. And so there's something inside of us that's longing for that transformation. And that one will come at the right time. At the right time, not before. That will come. And then there ain't going to be no more death. The Bible said that that's the last enemy. That's the last enemy he's going to get. He's going to get that one. That's the enemy. Death is the enemy. He's going to get it. He didn't get it, but right now he said, death, you, death, where is your victory? Even though you're still around, you ain't got the victory because somebody took the keys from that old devil, and his name is Jesus. He said, I got them keys. Is the devil going to get them back? You're not going to get them from Jesus, is it? Jesus got them. So he said, don't be worrying. Don't be stressing. To live is Christ, to die is gain. So it's a blessing. It says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So if that happens, yes, you are, you're blessed. You know, you stepping into some, something beautiful. However, what I'm saying is, something inside of us, it says there's a groaning. God, we want to see this. And, and he said, well, well, it's a process that we're going to see. 
And, and I'm telling you right now, in this time of alignment, in this time of wonders, God is going to do it. And he's going to start transforming your life. He's going to do things in your life that you could not figure out. You see, yes, you. He's going to turn that life around. He's going to do it in unprecedented ways. I Means stuff you ain't never seen. It's coming. It got some new stuff coming. He's got stuff you never seen before. It never happened like that before. It's coming. And, and listen, it's going to be beyond what you expect. It's going to be beyond what you can imagine. And beyond what you could ask. Beyond it's un be unexpected. It's going to be uncharted. You ain't never even, even began to, to map it out. He said, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do in your life. Yes, yes, we got that. We got the, the eternity. And we got that time when, when these bodies get transformed. Oh, and I love all that. Hope you love that too. That's going to be, talk about wonderful. That's going to be great. But he said, don't wait for that time. To see me do my wonders. I'm going to do them now. I'm going to do them even this year. I'm going to start working. He said, watch me work. Watch me work. He said, "He said I'm working. And they said, well, what about this? And they, they was all worried about why did this, how, what are we going to do? Like, like a lot of us today, oh, the devil's doing this. It's too dark. It's too, and, and he said, stop all that and watch me work. Watch me work. Watch me work where? Watch me work in, in your life. He said, he said, listen to something right now. He said, I understand. Trust me, I know you're facing challenges. He said, he said, you might say, Well, I just don't think that, that that's a, a good word. You know, one person said to me, kind of a hard-headed person. You ever met some hard-headed folks? Hard to tell them anything, you know? Well, this particular one, I began to tell them and say, you know, God wants to do something. God wants to turn this around. God wants to bless you. God wants to do something in your life. And, and this person had the nerve, but, you know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. And so what this person said to me, because of what was in their heart, a hard heart, they said, oh, I thought you was just being nice. I didn't believe none of that. Do I waste these words? Do I like to just hear the words come out? Or do I say them because God gave them to me? And I know I better say them because if I don't, he'll be saying, why ain't you doing what I told you to do? Because why did he call? Why did he set me apart? To speak his word. To not do what I do. He said, I'm going to give you my words and you speak. You get that? So what I'm saying is get ready for unprecedented. Get ready for unexpected things. Get ready for uncharted things that, that you didn't expect and not even you didn't expect. You couldn't even put them together. Get ready for those things to happen for who? For who? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You watch me work. He said, He said, watch me work. Watch me work. Oh man, oh man. And all this other stuff. He said, I'm I'm here to work. And I'm gonna work right here. See, he said, I'm gonna display joy. Do you see me work? I'm gonna let you see me work. Listen what he said here. 
He said, but yeah, you got challenge. Yeah, you got stuff that's in your life. He said, he even said in that passage, he called it suffering or troubles. You got stuff you're going through. You got stuff that you're facing. And some of it looks kind of bad. Some of it looks kind of tough. And you know, and it was interesting because he said something. When I was reading it in, uh, in Peter just yesterday, and, and in Peter he was talking about a little while, a little while, after you suffered for a little while. You know, the devil will tell you you ain't never getting out of it. You pay that one. It ain't never going to change. You're going to be like this forever. You ain't never going to see nothing good. Since when should we believe him? When it first showed up, well, when it first uh, fell from heaven because of sin, he been lying. Did he stop lying? He's still lying, isn't he? So we are not going to believe none of that for a little while. Can you say it? It's just a little while. It's just a little while. This challenge will not last. What you're facing right now is not going to be forever. You're going to get through. You're going to the other side. You ain't going to stay in this. You ain't going to stay in my situation. He's working. He's working. He's watching me work. Oh, but I'm seeing all this trouble. It's just a little while. It's just a little while. Oh, the devil don't, don't like to hear that. But it's true. Eh? Just a little while. And he said, whatever you're suffering, whatever you're going through. Listen, I love that word, going through. I told that to, to one of the people. I said, I said, look out right here. Look out this window. You know that. That's called the harvest. I said, get you a chair. And set that chair right in front of that drive. I said, or, or park your car right there. They're fitting to get mad. They're fitting to honk at you. They're fitting to say, why? Because what do they do in that window over there? You, you, you order your food. You pay for it. Wait a minute or two for them to get it to you, however long it takes. And then you keep on driving, don't you? Are you supposed to park there? You're supposed to get your chair and sit there? No, you ain't. You're going through. You're driving through. Well, guess what? We're going through for a little while. For a little while. Whatever you're facing, whatever it is, it will not always be that way. And, and I tell you, what's going to happen is all of that, as much as the devil would try to keep you back, he cannot stop that transformation that's coming. He said those challenges. And God says, I am, as we see later on in this same chapter, and it, it says that God is working everything for good. He's going to work it. The devil going to try to say you're done, but you ain't done. You ain't done. You're going through. He ain't got you stuck. You're going through. Can someone say, I'm going through? I'm going through. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And then he said, then he said, I'm transforming it. I'm, I'm going to transform you. And he said, I'm going to reveal my glory. My glory, my presence is going to be revealed where? You. He said, someone said, that's the last place I was looking for your glory. Something so beautiful. You putting in me? Remember, we said that on Sunday. We said he put his treasure in this vessel. He put his treasure in that vessel. He put his glory in that vessel. He put his glory there. 
and, and he's glad to do it. And, and he said, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. He said, it ain't going to be no mystery to you anymore. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to begin to, to re reveal means to take off the veil, to, to take it's no longer undercover. People's going to see. He said, I'm going to let you see my glory. He said, my glory is going to begin to work in you. He said, I'm going to show my glory in you. People's going to see it. Oh but, oh, but man of God, you know, uh, oh, but Some of them don't believe it. Yeah, I know. They fitting to see it. They're going to see it. Are they God? No, they're not. But they don't believe it. They don't want it. They say it ain't never going to happen. Let them. And God said, watch me work. Watch me work. And they fit to see it too. And they fit, some of them's gonna be like, whoa, the glory showed up over there. But you know what's so good about that? You know what is so beautiful about that? When that glory shows up over there, they said, Whoa, if God did it over there, maybe he could do it over here too. That's what I want. What God's doing for me. He's not a respecter, but he doesn't make exceptions for people. So what he would do for one, he will do for the other. And he said, I want, I want the Son of God to be reflected in glory. I want people to see that glory. They'll do it. But he says something so powerful right here. He said that the whole well, and we'll talk about them on another broadcast, but but the whole world, the whole creation is saying, we didn't like what happened when the sin came in. It was a lot better. Because remember what, what God said in Genesis. He said it was good, didn't he? He said, man, it's all good. Look at it. It's good. God looked at it and said, oh, boy, look how good this is. And now they're saying, it don't feel too good right now. It ain't the way it needs to be. And the whole creation is, is crying out. But what they know will fix it. And you know what's going to fix everything? When people begin to manifest and people begin to grow and mature into being an adult son or an adult daughter. Some of you here have adult children. they still your baby, aren't they? Is this still your baby? But they, they ain't little no more, are they? You can't hold them like you can the ones over at the school. You can't hold these, can you? You can't pick them up. They they big, they grown. And I know part of us said, oh, but they still my baby. Yeah, but now they grown. Now they think for themselves. Now they can take care of themselves, can't they? Now they can do. And, and what he's saying is in a real way, God is saying, that's what I want. And even the creation said, but, but not being just a grown person to function in this world, but to function in God's reality, what it means to manifest being a son or a daughter of God. I said, I'm going to transform you. I'm going to make you mature. I'm going to make you to grow. I'm going to make you to reach the full level of your potential. And there's a lot of people. You know, well, let me tell you this as we're coming to a close. I heard a man uh, preach this one time and thought about it. He said, I can tell you, no matter what city I go to, 
I can tell you which place has the most potential in that city. And you'd say, who? Well, I remember what they said. I can't remember who said it uh, about the children. Children, I believe the children are the future. Mm -hmm. So we say, well, if we go over there to the building kids, that's where they got the most potential. He said, oh, yeah, well, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what that was, where they had the most potential. And some say, maybe go to the bigger ones, you know, to the to the elementaries. They could be over there. Or they could be in the middle school. Or they could be in the high school. Or maybe in the college, they got the potential. Or maybe go into some uh, special business. They got the potential there. And the man said, no, 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 and no. In any of those places. Can I tell you where the most potential is? The cemetery. Why? Why did he say that? He said, because the people died and never got their potential. People died and never moved into their promise, never moved into their blessing. Never move into that place. And he said, that's what creation is crying out for. Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? Is there somebody who's going to come up? Is there somebody who's going to seek to sonship? Is there somebody son? Daughter of God. Your son growing up to be a human grown up. I'm talking about to be grown up into a grown up son of God, to be mature to that place, to be in a place where he can function the way God wants him to function. He can function on this earth and things will already start changing. Things will already start shifting. I'm telling you, God wants to do a transformation and God is working right now. And it says, watch me what. And if you would say, as we come to a close, as you would say, Lord, here I am. And I want to see that transformation. If that's you, then let's stand up right now. If you're watching me, just go ahead and, and take hold of this word right now. This word is for you. And, and, let's, and let's say, God, I'm the one. You said, watch me work. Work right here. So I'm going to invite you to, to get up in his presence right now. And watch me work. This is your time. This is your time. This is your time. Hear me. This is your time. I know some would say, nah, nah, this ain't the one. Ah, oh, no. But this is your time. Watch me work, says the Lord. I'm going to work in whatever challenge you face, whatever issue, whatever issue is there, whatever trouble is there. I say, you ain't going to be stuck there. You're going through. You're going through, you're going to a place, and, and the glory is greater than whatever you're facing. He said, He said, whatever suffering, whatever challenge you're in, come back to the glory. So, Father, I let your let them get through the challenge. Get through the challenge. I prophesy you coming through. You go ahead and believe it and say, I'm through. You pull it me through, Jesus. And I tell you, you're gonna feel his hand. Him coming and pulling you through. You're getting through this. This is not the end. This is not, you ain't going to be stuck here forever. You're going you're gonna to be here just for a little while. You're coming through. This is the challenge, but he's going to get you through. And when he gets you through, he's going to begin to show you his glory. He's going to begin to show you his presence. He's going to begin to show you how he's working. How he's working. He's working. He said, watch me work. Watch me work. 
Oh Lord, I pray work, 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 oh God. And cause us to grow up, to become those mature sons of Christ. The ones that are going to function in that place that you called us to function. That's what the whole earth is saying. Ain't somebody going to do it? Man, ain't there anybody who can do it? Ain't there anybody who will manifest this? Ain't there anybody who can show this? And Father, I declare it. You're a manifest son of God. You will become a manifest son of God. You will become a manifest daughter of God. A manifest daughter of God. That's why I'm a, I'm a manifest. The, the, this whole facet of this maturity. Do it, oh God. Do it, oh God. Do it, oh God. He's doing it. Again, watch me work. He said, watch me work. I, I'm going to show you. Watch me. Watch me work, says the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to watch you work. Father, it will be. It will be. It will be. It will be. So it will be. It will be. It will be. It's coming. Hallelujah. And amen, it's coming. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to watch you work. Hallelujah and amen. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Before we leave, let's share a few announcements. You can be seated again for a moment if you would like. Amen. But I want to invite those who've been blessed by the word, know that God is speaking to them and like to partner. Go ahead. Offer your sacrifice right now. Offer your gift to the Lord. And I want to show you that we have added uh, something here. Those of you who, you have all these other apps, of course, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Tithely, okay? And those are some great apps that we use, but we, of course, have our website as well. You can give by check or by cash. But if you'd like to give by Zelle, by Zelle, then type in my name, Michael Wise, at sunriseinternationalchurch.com. That will connect you to our accounts, okay? That'll connect you to our account. If you'd like to do Zell, you can do that as well. Amen. We'll be announcing that in the in the next ones, but but we just thank the Lord. Amen. And Lord, we ask you to receive these sacrifices right now. Lord, we ask you right now, receive these gifts, receive these sacrifices. Sweet-smelling fragrances before you again. Name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. What a great time it's been. I want to encourage you to be involved with the ministry here. We've got all kinds of activities. You can find us, if you're watching us, you can find us at this address. Over here behind the Arby's. We just talked about the Arby's. You can find us over here in Hermitage, all right? And, of course, Sunday, 10 a.m., we'll be right back here. Amen. Uh, we have our Radiant Youth Ministry. Uh, we're going to... 
start a new schedule. We will get back to you when that will be. Uh, but we don't have a meeting tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Our youth ministry, I mean, our children's ministry will be back on Sunday. Prayer uh, for our women next Monday, 445, right here on Wednesday. We're back. Amen. Praise God. We got other things coming up in the month of August. We got men coming up. We've got our men's meeting. We'll, we will organize that. We've got our uh, Ray's coming back next week, as, well, next month. Amen. We're going to have some great times in the presence of God. I haven't even started to talk about September and getting into October. It's going to be really, really awesome what God's going to do. And we thank God for the missions. Please keep lifting up all of our missions partners around the world, all the work that God is doing. Keep us in prayer and pray that we would expand. God would be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. If anyone is interested in joining, you are a pastor and a leader anywhere in this whole wide world. Check with us on Facebook or the website, Sunrise International Church, or even that email you saw, Michael Wise at Sunrise International Church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And again, we've got all kinds of things going on on our uh, social media. Join us. Be a part of our family. We love you. Amen. God's doing some great work, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Amen. And and speaking of missing a thing, I pray that you be ready now to get back out in this world. We like to do that at the end of every service. Get ready for, for your service, my friends. You got work to do. God said, watch me work. Well, he's going to work in your life, and he's going to work in other people's lives. Get that armor on. Amen. Get it on. Be ready. Amen. And you're going to touch people. You're going to pray for people. You're going to love and heal people in Jesus' name. We're going to see miracles and deliverance. We're going to see the word of the Lord, salvation, and even prophecy coming forth in the name of the Lord. All these wonderful things are going to happen as well as everything else we've said because the sun is rising. Sun is rising in me, and we rising together in the sun.